Are you struggling with the new camera suite in Elite Dangerous? Then stick around because today I'm going to show you how to effectively use it. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to Elite Dangerous. Today we're taking a look at the new uh, camera suite. It's been out for, for a while and, and some people have been posting in some of my videos uh, if I could make a guide how you actually use it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how you, uh, you set up the controls, what the different controls do. Um, and yeah, simply just how, uh, how you use it. So um, by default, when you're in your cockpit, you press Control Alt Space, just the way you would get into the, to the old um, debug camera. And that enters you into probably something that looks like this, in my case, for, for this ship. Let's just turn this around so we can get some, some sunlight on the ship. Here we go. And right now you are in um, inside what they were called the camera suite. And you can see you still have full control over your ship. Um, so you can do pretty much everything, turn up the thrusters and uh, switch the sh ship around. So to, um, to begin to manipulate the camera, what you need to do is you need to go into free camera mode. And to do that, we're just going to go in here and have a look at the uh, the options here. I have everything set up to my um, um, to my whole test. I'm running this on a, um, a Cytec uh, X52, no, 52X, X52, X52 Pro. Um, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go down here into your controls. And down here at the bottom, you have the camera suite controls. And these are only what you use in the camera suite mode, not the free camera mode. But we'll get back to that later. Oh, we actually missed that route. There we go. Okay, so um, here you can see that this, this, this is the shortcut or the command to get into the um, camera suite. Then I have set up um, previous camera and next camera. I've set two different key bindings and enter free camera mode. These are the three only um, important ones in this sector you can set to the different cameras, I'll show you in a bit. Um, but I, actually, I haven't done that because I don't really, don't really use that that much. But you can set for the, all the different um, cameras. So let's just very quickly apply that and go back into the game. So if I switch between the camera modes, you can see here, as I did before, it switches between all the different camera modes, all the different default camera position. I must stress this is default. We can alter these in a bit. So um, let's start by using this one. Then you saw I have a, a shortcut that says free camera. Let's click that. And now you see the uh, UI changes. So now we are in free camera mode. That means that we no longer have control over the ship. Now we have control over the camera. And again, let's go in and have a look at the options and see what the different options do. Controls. So now we have gone from going in um, the camera suite mode down here to free camera mode and actually i should remove this in the background because it makes it a little bit difficult to see so hold on let me do that real quick i'll just remove that and we'll get back to that in a little bit so let's get back in here controls and free camera okay so what i just did there was i removed all the ui elements that gives you a clean image without any um helping ui and that was the first setting here see so that says to my e button that's the big red or big button at the top of my throttle um but anyway you can keep on this however however you like um and that simply just in, uh, um, turns the uh, ui and the hot uh, on and off when you are in the free camera mode um then, of course, we have increased speed and decreased speed. What this does is it increases the speed of the camera. Um, so, for instance, if I use, let me see here, I move left. I have that on one of the small hats that could just like uh, basically just like um, if you use your arrow keys. And the, the increased speed and, and decreased speed does not actually move the camera. It just tells you how sensitive these down here are. You can see here again with my my throttle i set a throttle axis you can also set a i think you can also set yeah, here move forward move backwards so you can set single keys i just set an axis between because i want to use the throttle for that so let's try and use these and of course i also have move up and move down so look, let's go uh, go back and have a look at how this works um resume so as you can see right now if i use that hat that we show here it strafes left and right or moves up and down 
That's what the left and right and up and down does. Now, if I decide to say, now I want to, uh, for instance, increase the speed, you can see here now it's faster or very much faster, or I can make it go very slowly if I want these uh, nice sweeping shots. Of course, you have to be a little bit further away from the ship. And if I want a faster one, I can just increase the speed as I see fit. So those are those controls. Let's get back in and have a look at the others. Here we go, free camera mode. Um, oh yeah, I should mention here, I also set a, a forward only throttle reverse. That means that because I use an axis, that means if my throttle is all the way down, it means I want the camera to be sitting still. And if I move the throttle up, it's beginning to move either forward or backwards. Um, but the forward only throttle reverse means if I press that button that this is assigned to, it will reverse the throttle. So when I go forward with the throttle, it will then be reverse thrust. Um, and I'll just show you again real quick. Again, this is different if you use a keyboard, then you, I would recommend you probably use uh, arrow keys for this. Um, and then you don't really need this. But in my case, as you can see right now, camera's moving forward as I increase the throttle. Um, and it's sitting still. Now I'm clicking the, the reverse throttle. And now you can see the camera's moving backwards. And each time I click it, the camera changes direction, either forward or backwards. Make sure that's in forward mode. There we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Moving on to options, controls. We're going to do this a lot. So those are the controls. And of course, you have um, axes for everything here. And again, pitch control. This is essentially exactly the same as you use the ship. And I highly recommend you use the same settings here as you use for your ship. These are for pitching the camera. So tilting the camera um, like up and down. These are for your axis just on your ship. That's turning your camera from side to side like this. And of course, we also have the roll axis, which is then rolling your camera um, from side to side. And I just have everything bound here to my, uh, my joystick for doing that. Okay. Then there are uh, three down here, which is actually pretty interesting. There are the one called Lock to Vehicle, Lock to World, and the Toggle Rotation Lock. So let's go ahead and look at what these different controls do. Go back here, go resume. Okay, so we are now in free camera mode. And let's say that I've set up the, let's make this go a little faster, that I've set up the camera where I want it. Now, if I click Lock to Vehicle, like so, I'm no longer in free camera mode. Um, as you can see here, I went back, uh, as you can the UI, I went back into the camera suite mode because now I actually have control of the ship again. And of course, I said lock to ship. So the camera is now locked to the ship. And you can see as I move the ship, the camera moves with it. I can set it in reverse, and we can fly backwards, and we can do everything we want, even fire the weapons. Um, let me put the UI up here again. Let's get the, oops. There we go, get back into the free camera mode. If I then click lock to world instead, you guessed it, now the camera is stationary in the world and the ship can now still move uh, freely about. The last one was, uh, what was the name of it again? Um, here it says uh, stabilize was off, but I think it says something else in the menu. Um, rotation lock, um, enable or disable rotation lock. So if you're in um, if you lock to the vehicle, like I am right now, you can see here. So that follows the vehicle. If I click the, um, the stability off or the rotation lock, there we go. So now stability is, uh, is on. You can see now the camera does not roll with the ship. So now if I, it still stays at the same distance from the ship, the same um, uh, uh, place uh, for the ship, but the ship can now roll and fly around freely. And again here, if I uh, turn it back on, you can see now it follows the ship around like this. And now I turn it back on again, and we're able to fly um, more freely. So that's that one. Let's get back into the setting. Oops, not resume. Let's get back in and have a look at the other controls. Because now we're getting down to the mid bit more uh, advanced stuff here. Um, of course, there's a button here for exit free camera mode that if you just want to go straight back to um, to the camera suite without doing anything. 
Okay, then we have a whole bunch of things down here at the bottom, and these are a little tricky. It took me a while to actually figure out these works. There are the zoom slash blur toggle. Keep that in mind. Then we have increase zoom slash focus, decrease zoom and focus, increase blur, or decrease blur. Okay, so let's get back again and let's have a look at how all these work. Resume. Okay, so um, just gonna position the ship here. Oops. And then place the. Actually, you know what? Let's get. Uh... I need to remember this. How do I do this? Ah, hold on. Here we go. I want it inside like that. Okay, where is the station? Station. I want the station outside the window here. Um, it looks like I already had a little bit of blur on, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so here we have the station in the background. You can see the station is slightly blurred. So, if we go into free camera mode, now look at the um, the middle of the screen, the left side. It says zoom. That means if I press my zoom slash um, zoom slash focus increase it will zoom in, or zoom slash focus decrease, it will zoom out. So I can now zoom in and out, as you would expect. If I then click, remember there was a key that says um, zoom focus toggle, something like that. If I click that, the UI changes, and now I'm in focus mode. So if I then use the same bindings as before, what I then do is now, you can see the small numbers here at the left, they change at a certain number of meters. And this is my focal distance. So right now I'm focusing on objects that are 1.19 meters away from the camera. And you can see the blur. I have 42% blur right now. I can also increase the blur. And what the blur does is it gives you a, of course, it's a more blurred image, but it also gives you a narrower focus distance. So if you have a large amount of blur, you're focusing on a very, very thin sheet in front of you. The less blur you have, the thicker the sheet. So the more you can have in focus at once. Um, so we'll move this to around 60% and let's see if we can get the pilot to focus by moving this out a little bit, I think. Now we're up to 1.5 meters. That sounds like a little bit too much. Let's see if we can get him in focus here. It is very, suddenly it will run very fast. Oh, that looks almost, it's still a little bit out of focus. Maybe we have a little bit too much. There we go. So now we can keep the pilot in focus and we can still have the background blurred. Um, so if I move this out, if I increase the focal distance a lot, you can see now that I put it out way out there. It's now focusing on the station, whereas the pilot is out of focus. So you can then change the focal distance um, by doing that. And of course, if I put the blur all the way to, oops, get the right one here, all the way to zero, everything will be in focus at the same time. And once you then got your, um, let's say I want my, um, um, I want a little bit of blur here, so let's put this back and put this at around one point, whoops. See, that's what I mean, it runs very fast, suddenly it will run, so you can very easily lose it if you're not very careful. I hope they will tweak this a bit so it will not run this fast. A little bit more, a little bit more like that, and I increase the blur to around 52%. So now let's see, I'm here. Um, and then I can enter free camera mode. Oh, I wasn't free camera. Then I'm gonna say lock to, uh, lock to the vehicle. There we go, hide the UI. And I'm now able to, hold on, I still have uh, camera controls here. There we go. Now I managed to lock the camera. And actually lock a target outside to the ship as well. You can see now I have full control over the ship. I can move it around, can do whatever I want, just as if I was flying the ship normally. But I have all the camera settings. So basically, once you go in camera mode, that's like you're preparing for the next video or, or photograph you want to take. And as soon as you're done with the uh, with everything regarding the, the setting up the camera, setting the blur, setting the focus distance, getting the zoom, getting the crop, getting everything right, then you go back into the camera suite and from there, you're then able to control your ship, do your video, do your shot, and then go back into the free camera and change it again. 
So anyway, I hope you found this uh, this useful, and I'm looking uh, looking forward to see some uh, some amazing images from you guys. And you're more than welcome to uh, to post them over on my Discord server. Some people are already beginning to post images, some really really good uh, good images. Um, some people are definitely way more skilled using this camera suite than I am. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at the fighter in the background. I think he hit something. But anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked the video, if you did, give it a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space. Sorry for the weird cursor render in that video, I have absolutely no idea what went wrong in that recording. Um, I hope you still found the video useful and informative, um, but yeah, thanks a lot and I'll see you guys in space.